Sammy had a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever the fuck. She didn't tell me. Okay. Hey. Talk to me. Talk to me. God fucking do me. Thomas. Thomas, right? Look, man, if Thomas got fucking popped, it wasn't me, okay? I've been sending him a hook in like two years, you hear me? Hey! I want you to listen, to listen. You need to, you need to listen. listen. Okay. Okay. Have, Have you ever heard, heard the story of the snake uh, that, that wouldn't hiss? What? No. No, I haven't heard the story of the snake that wouldn't hiss. I've heard the story. Of that fucking snake, though. Hey, hey, you fucking see that? Oh. What are you doing? No, 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 fuck you, you fucking bitch. No, no, no. I'm listening. I promise. There you are. You see, there used to be a village. Years and years ago. Right up the hill from where we right sit. Up the hill from where we sit. In that village. There was a beautiful, serene meadow where lived a venomous snake. This snake was feared by all the townspeople, no matter their walk of life. One day, a holy man was passing through the village toward the meadow. The townspeople warned him, do not go that way, for there lives a venomous, terrible snake. The Brahmin replied that he had sacred mantras that would allow him to speak to the snake and reason with it. So he continued toward the meadow. When he approached the snake's lair, it raised its hood, taking striking position. The holy man approached the snake, and he uttered a mantra. Upon hearing this, the snake fell to the ground, subservient. The Brahmin said to the snake, if you listen to me, I will rid you of your violent nature. Under the power of the mantra, the snake agreed. Giving one final piece of wisdom, the Brahmin said to the snake, I only have one rule which you must follow. The rule is simple. And that is the way to God. The rule is do simple. Do no harm to do anybody. Do no harm to anybody. And you must, and you must never, never 
bite. bite. As days passed, the snake had rocks thrown at him, and at times was even picked up by the young herdsmen of the village, whirled around and beaten. Yet, the snake refused to respond with anger. Forty nights passed, and the snake was now nothing but skin and bones, fearing to ever leave its snake hole again in search of food. Uh, one day, the promise. snake is too close. It's too close, okay? It's too close. I don't. It's too close. No, please. Please, not it. What the? Oh. Uh, no! Listen to no. me! The brother uh, turned to check upon the snake, and upon him, uh, said to the snake, You are unwell. Mm. What has beaten mm. and thin? What has become of you? You asked me to do no harm. You asked me to do no harm, not to bite. How shall I protect you? How shall I protect you? Is this not the spiritual, this not the spiritual path you taught me? The Brahmin replied. The Brahmin replied. I told you not. I told you. I to told do you no not harm. to bite. Not to bite. But what a fool, but what a fool, you, fool are. you are! I never, I never said, said you could not protect, protect yourself. With a hiss. For the first time in your life, you can. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Uh, a bark, bark, but don't bite. Hiss, hiss, all, always hiss. Wait, right, hit, hit, but you have your bark. Be louder than your bite. Just wait. Oh. Wait, wait, okay. Think, okay. what is the moral? I told you the moral. Who did the just snake do hurt? it, just do it, okay? Do whatever you're gonna Who do, just do it. Who did the snake hurt? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. I don't fucking know. The, the snake, right? The snake bit me. And then the Brahmin said, don't bite. So the snake didn't bite, but it didn't hiss. And then the snake got fucked, right? So the moral of the story is you have to hiss. <laughs> That's it. You gotta hiss. Protect yourself. Hiss, right? Hiss. Who did the snake hurt? Who did the snake hurt? Okay, just give me a second, okay? Give me a second. I don't want to die. Himself. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. 